there is a free open source parametric geometry modeling tool called OpenVSP. And VSP stands for Vehicle Sketchpad. This program was developed by NASA. And if you create aircraft geometry in it, you can export it and then import it into Creo Parametric. If you go to openvsp.org, right on the home page, there is a download button where you can get OpenVSP for Windows, Mac OS, or Ubuntu. Also, from the OpenVSP website, there are a bunch of links up at the top. One of the links that you have is for Get Started. From here, you can access tutorials through the OpenVSP Ground School. And also, there is the VSP Hanger, which is a collection of different models. So, for example, if I go over here, here we have the most recently uploaded model. You have a bunch of different categories that you can select from. So, for example, maybe I want to go to experimental vehicles. You can see all the different ones that are available here. You can choose the source quality and other different factors about the models that you might want to download. Also, let me go to a different tab that I have open. If you go to the Open VSP Ground School, you also have a bunch of different models that you can download. That's where I got the X57 model. And I'm going to show you how to open up another model. In the VSP hangar, I found this nice model of an FA18C Hornet by a user named Elias GH. So let me hop back over to Open VSP. So if you want to open something, just go to the File menu and then choose Open. And I have a favorite bookmarked in here. Let me go to a folder and then grab that F18C and then hit the Accept button. And let me give it a few seconds to load. I can go to the View drop-down menu and then Fit on the screen. Uh, if you want to pan, zoom, or uh, rotate, it is a little bit different. Middle mouse button is used for zooming in, zooming out. Left mouse button is used for rotating. And the right mouse button is used for panning it on the computer screen. And right now I'm looking at it in a wireframe mode. Let me use the select all button and then use shade in order to go to a bit of a shaded mode. There are two different ways that you can export this from OpenVSP. One of the ways is by going to the file menu and then choosing export. And there are a variety of different formats. For us CAD users, the two most likely ones for us to use would be the untrimmed step or the untrimmed IGES. There also is a structured version of these, but I'll just use the untrimmed step. Then it opens up a dialog box. There are options for the set of units that you want to use for the step file. There's also a split surfaces option. I'll leave that checked. You can also choose what other information is exported from here. I will just click on the OK button and then for the name of the file, I'm going to call this my F18 underscore. And since this is an untrimmed step, let me call it untrimmed step. And then hit the accept button. And now this is being written out to disk. And so this is probably the more obvious way. There is another way that I found from watching a video on the Ultralight Airplane Workshop channel. Let me close out of here. If you go to the analysis drop down menu, there is a trimmed surfaces command. So, with the trimmed surfaces, well, we have a variety of different surfaces in this aircraft model. This will actually trim them to one another, which can help with generating a solid afterwards. So, I will choose trimmed surfaces. And there are a few different tabs in here. You want to go to the output tab. And there are a bunch of buttons selected for exporting some curve files, a .p3d, .srf. I'm going to turn those different ones off. For the trimmed CAD options, I'll leave these different options on, but I'm going to uncheck the IGIS export. Here is the folder in the file name that it's going to be exported to on my computer. I'm going to choose the intersect and export button and now it's going to go through a process of trimming the various different surfaces in order to export it 
you can see that there are 152 that are going to be exported. This is going to take a couple minutes, so I'm going to let this run and then come back and take a look at the files that are generated and also show you how to import this into Creo Parametric. Here are the files that were generated. The original .vsp3 file is the vehicle sketchpad file, and there are a couple of step files that I generated. The first was the untrimmed step file. You'll notice that it is about 5 meg. The trimmed step file, though, is about eight times bigger than that. So now let's jump over to Creo Parametric and open these up. When I import step files, I like to create the new part first so I can use my default templates that are set up the way that I like them. Let's start off by creating a file with the name F18 underscore untrimmed, and I will click the OK button. And now to bring in my geometry, I will go to the Get Data Overflow menu and then choose Import. And let's grab the untrimmed step file and then choose the Import button. Because I'm using my own personal default step profile, it automatically defaults to geometry. I'm going to turn off the option to generate a log file. I really don't need that. I will click the OK button. And you can see the geometry that has been imported in here right now is defaulting to the option for adding geometry. When I hit the check mark, we now have our feature. And if you take a look at this, you can, can notice that some of it is gray and other is in a bluish color. If I expand my design items folder, well, we have our body. It actually brought in some solid geometry as well as 16 quilts. Let me go to the view drop down menu and I'm going to take a look at my default coordinate system for a second. I'm going to create a cross section quickly and I'm going to create it along the Y direction. You can see a preview of the geometry. Let me show a hatch pattern. So we actually have some solid in here. Let me change this to call it cross section A and hit the check mark. So there you can see that by using that default option, we actually brought in some solids with the untrimmed geometry. Let me select the cross section and I will deactivate it. And then I will also turn off the display of the hatching. If you don't want this mix of solid and non-solid geometry, you can go back to the import feature and then edit definition. And instead of the add geometry option, you could go to add services instead. And then when I hit the check mark, we end up with everything the same color as for surfaces because it ended up not bringing in any solid geometry. If I go to my cross section, you can see that it is hollow inside of it. Okay, so that's good. Let's create a, another brand new part. And this one will be the F18 underscore trimmed. And I will click the OK button. And once again, I'll go to the Get Data Overflow menu. Let's choose the Import button. And this time I will grab the first one and then click on Import. And because this file is so much larger, it's going to take a few extra seconds in order to process. Okay, so there it is. And with the Add Geometry option still selected, I will hit the check mark. And you'll notice this time everything was brought in as surfaces. But anyhow, that is how you can bring in geometry from Open Vehicle Sketchpad into Creo Parametric.